Today I'm back at y'all with another hair tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to do a half feed ins half glue-in hairstyle. If you're looking for a quick style that you could do in less than three hours, I highly suggest this hairstyle right here. It's cute and it doesn't take that long. So first off, we're just going to start off by parting the hair into two sections and then doing our braid down for the back. So you don't have to have too many braids in the back. I didn't feel like braiding my hair all day long, so I just put about six big braids into the back part. But yeah, keep in mind that if you have curly hair, the big braids are not going to show. Like, it's not going to look lumpy at all. So, I know some people be thinking like, oh, my braid down got to be sleek, my braid down got to be flat. No, it really don't all the time. Especially if you have curly hair, it doesn't. And I just hope y'all not leaving y'all scalp dry in the bag. Make sure y'all add in some oil. This oil right here is my brand of oil, Beauty by Vea Hair Growth Oil. The link will be in the description if you guys are interested in shopping. And yes, it really does grow your hair. Okay, so now that that's done, we're just going to add this wig cap. Some people put two on. I just chose to do one. So I'm adding a wig cap. And then I am going to cut little holes by the ears. You want to cut right underneath the ear so that it fits perfectly. To get that cap flat. And then we're going to glue down the cap with some 30 second super hair bond dry glue. Whatever you want to call this. We're going to use that around the edges so that the cap sticks and is not lifting up when we're adding the protective shield. So once that hair glue is dry, you can go ahead and add your protective shield. Now, I decided to pour the protective shield onto like a glove in my hand and just rub it on like that. I did two layers of this. So the first layer, make sure it is completely dry before adding a second layer. To speed up the process of drying it, you could just use a blow dryer on warm heat. All right, so now that that's done, we're just gonna go ahead and start gluing in our tracks. For this entire style, I used two bundles, and that's including the curls that I added to the braids. So before gluing in the tracks, you just wanna go ahead and measure and then cut where the bundle needs to be cut. I chose to use these cheap bundles because I'm not gonna use it again, and me, personally, I don't keep my hair in, so there's no point of using some good, really good quality bundles if you're not gonna keep it in. So after adding the glue to the track, I go ahead and put the track on the cat. Once that's complete, you just wanna take the blow dryer, blow it on warm heat to make sure that the track is secure before moving on to the next one. Then you're just gonna continue to repeat this process until the back is done. When adding the tracks, make sure that they're curved to a certain point so that the tracks are not showing when you're done. A better way for me to put this is when you're adding the tracks, make sure that you're adding them in a U shape.
All right, now that we've completed the back, we're gonna move on to the front. So for my design, I chose to do some lemonade braids in the front, like half lemonade, half um, glue-in type things. So here we go. This is the hair I use. I believe that was Glance braiding here. The braiding gel I'm using today is All Day Locks Braid Gel for locks, twists, braids, etc. Me personally, I don't like the feeling of too much gel in my head anyway, so I do not define my parts with the gel. I pretty much just add it so that it gives the braid more of a sleek and polished look. So here I am doing the first braid. When you start your braid, make sure you're starting it with your natural here and then adding tiny pieces of weave as you go along so that the braid is not clumpy and lumpy. You want the braid to flow. So about halfway through the first braid, I realized that I didn't add any knotless braids to the side so that it flows more and the braids look more full and it's also not pulling on my edges. So right here, we're just going to add about maybe six knotless braids so that, like I said, the braids will flow and it looks more full. And for the curls in the front, I basically just cut some of the extra bundle I had and used that. All right, so on to the next braid. You're basically just gonna continue this process until you are finished braiding. Please don't mind my stink faces. This should be hurting and I'm dramatic.
And it was at this very point, at the last two braids, when I realized this hairstyle was eating bad. It was going to be so bad once I finished. But yes, we made it to the last two braids. I decided to braid the ends of the braids just so that I can dip them to have crinkly ends instead of like curly, curly ends. So. So if you don't know this hack, I'm going to put you on real quick. Make sure you're adding mousse to the ends of your braids before dipping them because it will help the braids dry faster and you won't experience all that dripping from the braids after dipping them in hot water. Alright, so here I'm going to go in with this foaming mousse, this curl enhancer thing. Adding it to my braids and the curls in the front. Once that's complete, you want to use some kind of holding spray, and then you want to use oil sheen once that dries. So at this point, I am pretty much finished with my hair, and I loved, loved, loved the way this hairstyle turned out. I still have it in as of now, and I plan on keeping it in for another week or two. This style is amazing and very beautiful. If you like this tutorial or I helped you in some kind of way, be sure to share this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Love you.